Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. In a historic victory for LGBT movement, the Supreme Court has struck down the Defense of Marriage Act and paved the way for same-sex marriages to resume in California. In a 5-4 decision, the court ruled the 1996 Defense of Marriage Act, or DOMA, signed by President Clinton into law, is unconstitutional. This means legally married same-sex couples are entitled to claim the same 1,100 federal benefits as heterosexual couples. The lead plaintiff in the case, 84-year-old Edie Windsor, hailed the ruling. I'm honored and humbled and overjoyed to be here today to represent not only the thousands of Americans whose lives, whose lives have been adversely impacted by the Defense of Marriage Act, but those whose hopes and dreams have been constricted by the same discriminatory law. Children born today will grow up in a world without DOMA. And those same children who happen to be gay will be free to love and get married, as Thea and I did, but with the same federal benefits, protections, and dignity as everyone else. Edith Windsor sued the federal government after she was forced to pay additional estate taxes because it did not recognize her marriage to her wife, the Aspire. Just minutes after DOMA was struck down, a New York City immigration judge stopped the deportation hearing of a gay Colombian man married to a U.S. citizen. Although Sean and Stephen Brooks were legally married in New York, federal law did not recognize their union. An intern at the law firm representing the couple ran five blocks to hand the Supreme Court's ruling to the judge right after it was posted online. Minutes after DOMA was struck down, the Supreme Court also ruled supporters of the Proposition 8 ban on same-sex marriage in California do not have standing to appeal a lower court ruling that overturned it. This effectively gives the green light for same-sex weddings to proceed in California, the most populous state in the country. We'll have more on the Supreme Court decisions after headlines.